Hey there everybody and welcome back. For those of you that are interested in learning how to open your APK files, whether they're from AppGyver or potentially other platforms, stay tuned, I'm covering the basics in today's video. So before we get started, don't forget to like and subscribe and check out the channel for new content. Now, two things to note here. First, this video is for educational purposes only, so make sure that you are following any and all applicable laws, rules, regulations, guidelines, etc. when editing and managing files and make sure that basically you're not trying to steal anyone else's information. So just be very, very careful about that. Second is make sure that when you're doing this, that you're aware that this video is not showing you how to edit the APK files. Most of the time, for example, AppGyver, I believe they provide compiled code. So you would need to learn how to decompile and edit and recompile and you risk causing issues throughout that process. With that being said, we can jump straight in using the Coffee Canine app as an example. I do have a video on my channel or a series on making a social or sharing app, which uses an app similar to this. I also have this social or sharing app available over at copusfix.com in the store. It's in the bundles under Coffee Canine. So <clears throat> those will allow you to download the AppGyver files and use them yourself. Now, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go to the build section, click APK, choose your runtime version, version code, and version name. So once you've done that, you should get an option to download it. It may take a while to compile it or create it, but once that's done, you can click download. From there, you're going to get a file that looks like this in whatever directory you've saved it to. So now you can open up Android Studio. I'll close the versions that I have running. And we're going to go to File, Profile, or Debug APK. And we're going to show just overriding the project. Now I am going to show an alternate example that makes it a little bit easier to manage the files inside that APK file that you may be a little bit shocked by. And we'll do that in a moment once this is done. Now I will say if you're coming from AppGyver and you're not <clears throat> super familiar with Android Studio, it's going to be a little bit of a learning curve as far as learning where all the files are but it is really, really interesting to see how everything functions for the most part. So you'll see that we have our APK file here. So when this is selected, you'll see when it opens up here, we can scroll through these different files. For example, if I go to assets and I go to images, you'll see we have a bunch of different images here and you can basically just scroll through and try to find whichever images. So you'll see this is from the main menu of like basically all of these are different images from this application. So <clears throat> you can kind of scroll through, see this is one that I'm going to use in the next application. So you'll notice the name starts with 18A1. But basically you have all of the different files that you can browse through. And again, these are not going to be files that you can edit. For example, if I go in, we'll just pick a random folder and click on a file you'll notice that when we try to edit, it'll say it's read only. So you can't really edit much or anything in Android Studio, but at least you can access the file contents. Now, a method that I personally prefer just a little bit more is going to be to use WinRAR. So we're gonna click open, and then we will go close this dialog, and we're gonna go to file, open archive, and then we will just choose all files. From here, you can double click your APK file, and here you are, pretty much all the files that we were just looking at. We can click on assets and go to images, and then we're gonna look for the image that I was just looking at, which started with 18A1, and you'll see we have it right here, along with other images that we were already looking at. So we can kind of navigate through and see the different things that are associated with this application. I have tried removing, editing, and replacing files in WinRAR. And when I try to download the APK file or install it, even if they have the same name, it ends up saying that the package is invalid. So I'm not quite sure how to do that. Again, I don't know if that has anything to do with the compiled part, but at the very least, you'll be able to access the content from those APK files. So I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, bear in mind um, before we close out the video that the APK file, if I'm not mistaken, cannot be uploaded to Google Play anymore. It's pretty much just the AAB bundles. So you're gonna need to make sure that you have the resources if you need to edit these files to build the bundle to actually upload it to Google Play or do whatever it is you need to. But I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment box below and I'll see you all in the next video.